Alright guys, I'm in this beautiful country called Norway. I wanted to come here for a really long time, so now that I finally made it, I want to share my experience about it. My family joined me in this trip, so let me introduce them. This is my lovely brother, who is not so lovely during this holiday. And he's the nice one. Well, he's supposed to be the nice one. And that's my not so nice brother, who is somewhat more bearable at the moment. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, that's my mom. She's the best one in the world. Well, only until I give birth, that is. And the giant kid is my dad. Let the journey begin. We arrived at the first ferry crossing. Look at that bridge, guys. I think life lesson for tomorrow not to bring so many stuff. Because I'm boiling. Going to Kiaragabolten, there's a vertical drop of a thousand meter. So I'm a bit nervous about that. I'm not sure if I will be able to stand on it or if I dare to stand on it more like it. Well, we started two minutes ago and we are already all exhausted. Uh, he's saying I need to take a video of who's the front. The one guy who doesn't have a bag on him, the guy who makes our dad carry everything. That's the guy at the very front. And the girl who carries her own stuff is right behind him. Thanks to my brother who was filming me for saying my bag was open the whole time. They say if you put a rock on that, he can wish and it will come true. I hope he wished for good weather. Seriously, still no mention of my bag. I think my brother might have gone crazy from exhaustion. And finally on the top, the following footage shows what it takes to stand on the rock. Okay. Yeah. 
You have slanchy. Like I can hear anything else other than my own voice telling me not to be done. Let's take you to the to stand on the Kerak Volcan, which I just did. It was easily one of the scariest experiences of my life. Uh, I came here. I came to Norway to stand on that rock. It's on my bucket list. My legs were shaking, um, but I did. I didn't think about the height. I just stood there, and I have a picture standing on Kerak Volcan. I was so happy, so relieved after I came off the rock. It was amazing. <laughs> this is my food guys. Food in Norway is quite expensive. Good morning guys. It's seven o'clock. We woke up at five and had it straight to Trotunga. We are at the parking lot at the moment and we will go on a 22 kilometer hike really soon. I hope I'll be able to do it. They say it's a hard hike, it's really difficult, it's really exhausting. You need special equipment. There's always someone we have to wait ages for with five people, that's the thing. Someone's not ready. I'm sitting here waiting to leave. It's like five past seven or something. They are still just getting ready. the tour mom we made about four kilometers so far it's over the, the hard part is over now because it was really steep I didn't vlog much because I was pretty much dying and the last thing I was thinking about was vlogging right now we have lots of snow here my parents are a bit ahead and this is my brother we are normally a bit behind because we take all the photos and videos and all they have to do is walk After five exhausting hours, we made it to Trolltunga. You can see there's a queue to stand on the rock and take your picture. Me and my brothers had the perfect choreography to take the most and best pictures in only a few seconds. First, it's just me standing there, jumping once, twice, three times. I hope you got that, Dad. Now I am sitting at the edge. Oh my god, my feet are hanging down in 700 meters. Okay, that's enough. Now let's get a picture with my brothers, because we love each other so much. My baby pro somehow has more brain than us and decided to skip the next picture. So, now me and my last nice brother are sitting at the edge. 
Oh, what a missed opportunity to get rid of him. I guess there would have been too many witnesses. And now, it's the end of our photo session. I head back and give some space for my brother to get some solo pictures. This is my travel buddy Chiburashka. We've been traveling the world together in the last two years. That's the end of the first video about Norway. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next one where we'll chase waterfalls in kayaks.